Hey, it's me. Uh, I'm Nico, as you probably gathered from my contact info and everything else. They told me you don't remember, well, anything about me. We used to be close. Oh, fuck, this is even harder than I thought it was going to be. I've heard that you're doing okay, all things considered. I know you're probably going crazy being stuck in that room with nothing to do. Probably eating shitty food. Just give me the word and I'll be over with sushi right away. Your parents wouldn't fall for me as a delivery boy though, that's for sure. <sighs> It'd be worth suffering their wrath if it means getting to feed you. Getting to see you. Getting to do anything. Maybe they've told you more about why they're keeping me away. Whatever they've said, it's probably... Never mind. I'm sure they think they have their reasons. I know they've always been overprotective of you. And you hated it when I'd do the same. Fuck. I'm stuck in two minds, because I know a part of you is probably screaming, begging for anyone to give it to you straight. And I bet your parents are frustrating the hell out of you right now, making you feel fragile. I guess we're all feeling the same right now, just terrified about what this means for you and wondering how things might be different. Watching you fall to the ground and shake like that, knowing I couldn't do anything about it, it killed me, baby. On the plus side, this means you won't be able to drive for a while, which I know you'll be super happy about. <sighs> Sorry for talking like we're still close. It's hard, knowing it's one-sided and that you don't remember me like I do you. I remember the first time we met. It was this Halloween party just off campus, and we instantly hit it off because we'd both come dressed as bunnies. You wouldn't stop staring at me across the room, thinking I didn't notice. I did, mainly because I was looking over at you too. And then I just never stopped. It's so hard not having you at home right now. Juniper is going crazy without you. Yeah, she's ours now, by the way. I can bombard you with photos and videos of her, if that'll help brighten your days. She knows I'm not doing so well, and she keeps meowing at me to remind me to eat. <laughs> That's usually your job. I'm rambling, mainly because I want to say everything, and yet I know there's so much I can't. You deserve to face this whichever way you want. Not being overwhelmed by some stranger or feeling pressured into something. Not that you've ever been anything other than amazingly stubborn and self-assured when you want to be. Whatever you want, however you want me, I'm all yours. And if you don't want me, if you want to face this next part without me, it'll kill me, but I'll let you go. All I ask, even if you move on, all I ask is that you'll remember me. Remember us. Even if it doesn't come back naturally, I hope you take the time to remember what we had and it's selfish maybe. But I also hope you remember how you made me feel. You're not always the best at saying things poetically. But I could always tell from your smile or the look in your eyes that you were happy. I try, tried, every day to see that sparkle. I know you'll get it back. All I can do is hope that I know you as well as I think I do. And that I can be the reason for that spark again. I mean, you fell for me once, and I was fumbling around in the dark that time. This time, I know not to mess up in all the little ways I did before. Like taking way too long to introduce you to my dad, since you guys are like BFFs. Or that you hate it when I sing the wrong lyrics to songs on purpose. <sighs> I love you. I'm sorry if it's weird to hear, but I do. I love the version of you I knew. And I'll probably love the version of you I don't. I'll love you even if you never remember. And I'll love you from a distance, if that's what it takes to love you right. But I won't forget the way you'd poke at my dimples every time you made me smile. 
or the sound of your sighs when I'd run my finger up your thighs. I won't move on from the way you took my heart and ran away with it, whether I wanted you to or not, or the way you would always find your way back to me if you drifted away during your sleep. You'll find your way back to me. I think. I hope. Can I be honest with you? Staying away from you is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. I'm supposed to trust other people to have your best interests in mind, but how am I supposed to do that when I was the one you chose to look after you? Over your parents? Over anyone? Give me the word, and I'll be there in a heartbeat. Until then, I'll be here, whenever you're ready to remember. <laughs>